Warning, the following content contains graphic imagery. If you are squeamish, you cannot stand the sight of blood or open wounds or all the wonderful internal things underneath the skin, please do not watch any further. We'll give you five seconds to change this. Uh, after that, it will be extremely gruesome and graphic, and you will see what a piranha bite looks like 24 hours after it happens. All right, everybody, so here is the bite. About 24 hours later, I have gotten the previous bandage off. Now, I will say I did have to pack it with some gauze to get it to stop bleeding, which if you look at all those fine filaments, I got to sit here for about an hour and pick out about 100 or so of those. Um, but that was the only way to get it to stop bleeding yesterday. Had a lot of people ask how to see it, how it looks. Um, so there it is. It's not, I've not got any infection or burning or any of that stuff. Um, I managed to get all the filaments of that bandage out. I am going to wrap it with a, um, oh goodness. I lost too much blood. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm going to wrap it with a non-stick bandage and some AAA. But I'm letting it breathe right now since it's not pouring blood. <clears throat> and I figured this would be a good way to update everybody because everybody has been concerned. And I really do appreciate it. Slash people just wanted to see it because they thought it was cool. So, it's not cool. Legal disclaimer, don't stick your hand in a piranha tank. Uh, even though I've done it a thousand times. Um, please don't do this at home. That way I don't get in trouble for you doing things that you shouldn't be doing with animals that you don't even know. So I hope you all enjoyed slash are not as concerned as you were previously. I will keep everybody updated and I will wrap all of this up into a, a compilation. I'm going to uh, do a video kind of talking about exactly what happened, um, including the uh, bite footage in there and then kind of the progress of how it's gone and explain why it happened and all that wonderful stuff. So until next time, Keep your fish healthy, but don't feed them human flesh. Keep yourself healthy by not feeding them human flesh. And catch yourself a little fish room fever. Take care, everybody.